All right, so what we're looking at here is um, building the uh, camera mount for RX-8. Um, pretty much just your normal tools, typical vise that we're looking at here. We got another vise over here to be able to hold it down. Um, over here is our drill. When we're looking at our drill, hammers. You'll need some aluminum. I got the thinnest aluminum that I could. It's a one and a half inch wide by probably close to a little under an eighth of an inch thick. Then you'll need bolts with wing nuts. Uh, wing nuts, I've got an inch and a half and these are a one quarter inch bolt. You'll need your metal bits, of course, a fourth an inch or quarter inch. Um, some felt because it is going to be in your car. So you'll have some felt that you'll need. A block for your drilling. You will need a punch because it is metal and aluminum and you'll need to start your drill bit with a punch. Also here I picked up a couple of things. These are just little rubber ends. Just the ends to stick over the aluminum. You don't have, you will not see the aluminum here but I did get a three quarters inch aluminum square tubing. Uh, just stock stuff that was at Home Depot. A square always helps. Um, hammer, of course, what you're going to need. I've got a little mini hacksaw. And then you can see all my plans here. Where I went through and looked through a lot of various sites. And kind of um, ran through all the tools that we needed. And everything else like that. Took a little bit of hybrid of a bunch of various ones. Put all of those together. So that's pretty much it. I would say make sure you have a drill. A good driver drill. Not something that's just a rechargeable unless it's like a Dewalt or what something like that. All right, so outside, who? Here's the RX-8. See if the camera adjusts. Pretty, pretty straightforward. You can see in the back here the mount. Let's see if I can get it. Well, with my tin on it, you really can't see. Unlock the car. My tent is legal, like a lot of guys. All right, so here inside the car. When we go inside the car, let's see here. You can see the mount. What I've done is taking that three quarters inch aluminum place those ends on it so that the rubber touches or anything just looks a little cleaner went into my latch system took the bolt off since that is less than an eighth of an inch thick it should not affect the latch system I did put the latch in put a bungee cord to it tie some rope uh, pulled it then put another cord on it pulled it put all my weight uh, there's no way I can move it or budge the latch after this was in there so it feels safe to me drilled the bolts Wing nuts only have one in right now, two in if I'm going to do a little more aggressive driving or we'll go to a track again. For this test, it should be fine. You can see the latch bolt here. That went in, same screw. It's really long screw. Um, I measured the depth of it, everything. Again, an eighth of an inch that this little piece is. As you can see back here, this is a piece of that one and a half inch aluminum that I cut to roughly five and a half inches and then bent it in half. Uh, excuse me six yeah five five inches then bend it in half so two and a half by two and a half i did practice a little larger and it didn't work so i moved down to five inches so i could get two and a half and two and a half going across same thing here on this latch system on the driver's side that piece of aluminum bent drill one fourth of an inch bolt hole in the bottom then two in the top wing nut put that on there from the back then of course I wrapped it in electrical tape and I would add if you're going to wrap, wrap it in electrical tape get the good electrical tape. I wouldn't leave it this, this in the sun a lot but get the good electrical tape. You can't paint aluminum unless you get it powder coated or something else like that so I think this is a good finish. I may try putting on this uh, paint coating that they have that seals it so it's a clear coating of the electrical tape. We might try that later but for right now. Then what I did is cut an 8 inch piece again of that aluminum, that stock aluminum, one and a half. Um, same thing up here, just measured over from the cockpit. Put in two wing bolts there and, uh, one, and a, one and a half inch screws as well. Excuse me, not screws, bolts. 
Same thing down here at the end. You'll see it there as well. I offset because it, it seemed better. I took a lot of placement for the camera. So I offset everything and you'll see when I take the test photos where everything is. But I think this is a great alternative. It's uh, DIY parts probably cost me about $30. Just because as you can see here, at the bottom of the bolts I did stick. You can go and look in the cabinet department. And I stuck some felt on the bottom because this is touching. Back there you can see as well. It is right up in, let me see here. So when you're looking at it right in here, I did stick felt to the bottom of those just to make sure nothing, nothing scratched. I did run a piece of felt along the bottom here and along the bottom here just to protect everything. So I think it's, I think it's pretty stable. We're gonna give it a test run here in a few. This is a one and a half inch bolt that it has a quarter inch diameter that has a thread 20 that is exactly the same that's in a tripod so i wouldn't have to buy a tripod mount or anything else like that and i have two bolts as you can see so i can adjust it to any height that i want depending on which camera i have so i think that's going to be wonderful but it seems sturdy um, of course we got the pressure point here it is on top of this i think it's going to be a whole lot better than actually putting it a lot of people have taken this out mounted it in there. We've got some people that just have mounted it to one. So let's uh, give it a look.